All right, let's do a crash course, introduction to confounding, everything you need to know in five minutes. So when I finished internal medicine residency, I had a lot of gray hair. This is like a chat GPT rendering of what I kind of looked like before residency. And by the end of it, yep, that was me. You can't tell, mainly because of the resolution of this camera, but it begs the question, did internal medicine residency cause gray hair? Now, you're thinking that doesn't sound right, and probably that reason why is because you have an idea of what confounding is. So confounding is a distortion in the association between two variables, an exposure and an outcome. So in this case, internal medicine residency is exposure. My gray hair was the outcome due to some other factor. So the question is, what was that other factor? And if you're unsure what that other factor was, we'll get there, don't worry. But let's have another example. So in the summertime, you might notice that there's more shark attacks that you hear about in the news. And you can also surmise that there's more ice cream sales in the summer. That begs the question, do shark attacks cause ice cream sales? No, of course not. There's a confounder. There's a confounder here that's distorting this association and it's hot weather. Hot weather both leads to more shark attacks because there's just more people swimming um, and more ice cream sales. So I hope that makes sense and is starting to sort of unpack what is a confounder. So the definition, it's a distortion in the association between two variables. Um, that example is shark attacks, ice cream sales, because of some other factor, in that case, hot weather. So uh, taking it one step further, or solidifying the concept, a confounder is a common cause of the exposure and outcome and not on the causal pathway between the two. What do you mean by that? Uh, let's dive in. So. Do yellow fingernails cause lung cancer? Here are some yellow fingernails, and maybe that person went on to get lung cancer. Did the yellow fingernails cause the lung cancer? Of course not. There's a common cause here. Smoking causes yellow fingernails, and of course smoking can cause lung cancer. So um, getting back to this concept that we just introduced, you know, um, we don't want to adjust for things that are on the causal pathway. So we know that smoking leads to DNA damage. We don't adjust for DNA damage in our uh, association between smoking and lung cancer. No, no, that's on the causal pathway. That's what's leading to the lung cancer. I hope that makes sense. And you might also wonder, maybe you've heard of this term bias, confounder, bias. Are these the same thing? So uh, let's unpack the concept of bias. So bias is any systematic error resulting in an incorrect estimate of the association between an exposure and an outcome. And one source of bias can be confounding, absolutely confounding by illness severity. Other sources of bias can be related to measurement bias, how are you measuring your outcome, information bias, how are the subjects um, reporting information to you. So there's three important components that I hope you'll walk away from uh, after this short talk. First, confounding is a distortion. It's a distortion, distortion in the association between two variables, shark attacks and ice cream sales, because there's some other factor, hot weather, that influences both. We bring it to life um, a step further by saying that a confounder is typically a common cause of the exposure and outcome, and it's not on the causal pathway. And there's this third piece. What is the third piece? Well, if the distribution of the confounder is the same between the two groups, confounding will not occur. And this is getting at how to adjust for confounding, but let's bring this to life. So in the example of shark attacks and ice cream sales, we knew that the confounder here was hot weather. Now, if the distribution of the hot weather is the same, maybe there's a heat wave and every single day it's the exact same temperature, guess what? Confounding won't occur um, from, from temperature because it was the same every single day. Uh, if that's confusing, let's give another example. Going back to this original example, does internal medicine cause gray hair? Well, maybe what we could do is we could compare groups. 
two groups that graduated from internal medicine versus some other residency program. Uh, and let's say the average age of an internal medicine graduate is 30 years. Well, maybe we could find a cohort of surgery graduates and let's say every single one of them was 30 years of age. Well, guess what? Now there won't be confounding by age because the age distribution was the exact same two in the two groups. So I hope that makes sense. Well, there you go. Five minutes come and gone. Hope that helps. Leave comments, questions, concerns below and have a great day.